Hi guys, today we're gonna create this ice growing effect using sub-level tools in Houdini 19.5 Today's video inspired by my beloved movie Mortal Kombat Hi again, this is Dyson. Today's video inspired by this scene of my favorite Mortal Kombat this sub zero creating this ice wall and throw my beloved scorpion on it so remember i give you the base idea not the final product so the final product required more testing and more error resolving so with that let's do it okay as you can see i using this bezier to have a basic shape and uh, i will with middle mouse i will adjust this point here okay and I want to give him a poly extrude here to have a more thickness. So, in another hand, I am creating this box for the wall. Okay, let me adjust that. Nice. So, let's give him a resolution and a mountain node for the displacement. And let's merge these guys together and let's create VDB from Polygon. So, we need VDB reshape now and let me adjust that, nice, now VDB convert, let's convert that to polygon, so let's adjust this, okay, I'm trying to have a basic shape for the guide of this ice to grow. So you can use anything, but I'm using this wall here. Okay, maybe, yeah, that's nice. Okay, let's proceed. Okay, now we need to have a growth effect. For that, we need to create poly source spread. Okay, we're gonna use that for the simplicity. In this node we need temperature as you can see we don't have one let's create one let's go to attribute paint we're gonna paint that and let's go to this tab and type temperature temp era two. okay so let's paint the beginning point okay I want to choose here and let's go to here and as you can see we have temperature and let's play and see what we have okay not moving the cooling rate will be reduced here and that our growth here in this video I talk about this more specific okay for this ice growing I want to use poly extrude let's create one poly extrude okay let me turn this off temperature okay now let's adjust the distance as you can see, the faces are connected together. We're gonna separate them with edge cusp. Okay. Now let's go to supply and control here. And let's reduce our thickness to have a spiky look. And that's awesome for now. Okay, as you can see, we have this total burn attribute containing our growth effect. Okay, we're gonna connect that with this distance extrude. We're gonna create growth effect for the distance extrude using this attribute called Z scale. Okay, we're gonna create an easy setup for that. Let's create attribute promote, attribute promote, nice. And now let's select our total ball and change the class to primitive and paste that here. And as you can see, everything worked. Our distance extrude is following this growth effect. So the distance act here like multiplier. So. We're gonna reduce that nice and as you can see we have 
this even and clean growth we're gonna break that with the uh, attribute noise here let's create one and let's choose our attribute here and okay we're gonna change the class here and the attribute nice now let's change that to multiply and let me adjust this setting maybe the noise okay the noise yeah okay that's not bad here okay maybe less this and i pretty happy with this for now okay that's better for now okay let me show you something cool here as you can see this growth is not stopping is growing and growing if you want to stop this growth uh, first let me show you the spreadsheet that's because this total burn as you can see the value is growing and growing and if you want to stop this growth you need to create attribute just float and enable this post processing and the maximum and set the value and ah, sorry we need to change that to total burn and as you can see the growth is stopping because it acts uh, like a clamp here let me show you the spreadsheet and total burn as you can see the value is stopping at 20. okay before we move on if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and if you want to support our community please check my nft page here that will be awesome okay let's back to the video for changing the direction we need a normal vector okay first let's check do we have a normal vector okay let's see we don't have n attribute as you can see let's create one with fact node and check this okay we have n vector as you can see okay that's our normal so we need to change this normal with comb node here we're gonna paint that let's override normal here and uncheck this connectivity and bring down opacity and pressure and let's paint this normal okay we need this to point toward this wall here okay let's be gentle with it okay that's not bad we need this variation and those upward okay for a better look you can use any type you desire okay that's awesome now let's see let's go to poly extrude to connect this with the normal we're gonna change this to point normal and that to attribute and by default it has an n that will be normal okay as you can see that works Now, let's have a delete node here. Okay. As you can see, we have this attribute containing our growth effect, Z scale. We're gonna use that to delete the rest of geometry. Let's type add sign Z scale and delete non selected. And we have this geometry. Nice. Now, let's create VDB from polygon. Oh, sorry not VDB from particle VDB from polygon VDB from polygon okay and let's bring the resolution down or voxel size okay now let's create VDB convert convert that to geometry and polygon sorry so 
now we need more resolution as you can see be careful with it and that's not bad let's create VDB reshape maybe and that's awesome and VDB smooth this for node is my favorite node in VDB and my favorite workflow always work perfectly okay let's change the noise here okay it's not bad for now and yeah that's cool okay that's without this mode and with this mode and maybe less smoothness here and that's awesome okay remember that always let me first uh, show you the segment here and as you can see you have a lot of segment remember that always use this adaptive uh, option here to have more optimized geometry and now we're gonna catch that with file cache here okay and that's the result i hope you enjoyed this one see you in the next video peace out